respected 8 tray mob member called Clay, real name Darian Cherry, was sitting in his car in the 8 tray mob's hood on the 86th street, when another car pulled up next to him and somebody began firing shots from the inside. Clay received a gunshot to the mouth and was transported to the University of Chicago Medical Center in critical condition. During his teenage years, Vert had seemingly been particularly close with a guy from Drill City called Ruga. Ruga would be gunned Ruga down in Drill killed. City's hood in March 2021, whilst two others were wounded. Vert would drop a music video for his song Drill Life, where he raps how he has to kill 10 of his his ops for them to feel what he felt. What up, Moolah Gang? It's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac. They saying Lil Jeff was. Lil Jeff is the last crazy rapper and the whole Bloodhound crew, the last crazy rapper that was out here catching bodies and rapping about the bodies. Not gonna lie. It's really getting crazier as we go. I think about it, gang. I ain't gonna lie, but y'all, tune in, man. Coming into the 2020s, Jay Boogie and the rest of the Bloodhounds would keep repping their new click in their music, such okay. as the May 2020 music video for the song Go by Boogie, JB, and Go! another Drill City rapper called Lil Vic, where Boogie first raps that he has only been out for 60 days but has already ran his paper back up, with this likely referring to his 2017 arrest on numerous charges, the most serious one being UUW, or unlawful use of a weapon, mm. for which he would end up receiving a four-year sentence. Oh, yeah. He would then mention the Bloodhounds, saying that they will come and get Blood anyone Hound, for Right back. Means All while the members would be flexing big bags oh, of vacuum damn. sealed dope in the music video. JB then steps in and calls the Bloodhounds his family, while flexing a new Bloodhound chain, which is the very same design that Jeff would later rock in his own music videos. Uh. Boogie also comes back towards the end as he compares the Bloodhounds to an army due to the wide selection of guns that they have. The Bloodhounds would also have a new rapper that would begin to drop a bunch of songs around this time too. His okay, name then. was Bloodhounds. Bloodhounds Real name. Oh, I know he was rapping. In fact, he's actually Lil Jeff's cousin, with some of Jeff's family members from his mother's side commonly liking and commenting on Z Money's family social media posts. And there were also old photos of Z Money from the early 2010s together with Jay Boogie and the mother of Jeff and Boogie. Damn in a music video by Z Money me, dropped in December 2020, Z Money can be seen hanging out with Jay Boogie, flexing big guns and stacks of cash. Unfortunately, not long before this video dropped, Boogie would get in trouble with the law once again in August 2020 when he was Dang. seemingly arrested twice on numerous charges, twice including possession of like a stolen two, vehicle once Dang. again, UUW. This would once again see Jay Boogie doing another long bid in prison, with his projected Six parole date years. now being in 2027. Damn. Meanwhile, the new generation of Drill City, Trap City, and Chris World members were also reaching adulthood. One of these kids being the Bloodhound rapper Vert, or Rel Vert, who seemingly spent much of his childhood in these neighborhoods. In fact, his and his old friend's social media accounts still have plenty of pictures left from around that time period. And yeah. in these pictures, a young Vert can be seen dropping the Ys, likely once again for TYMB, whilst also throwing what seems to be either a 6 or a B hand sign. Perhaps either as a homage to 66 Street, meaning Trap City or Chris World, or for Barnum, the Drill City rep. Or the B may possibly even represent the Bloodhounds, which at this time were already a major thing amongst many of the older members from the area, right. who were using this very same hand sign. Now, Vert is slightly older than Jeff, and he would also begin his rap career a few oh, years Vert before him. For example, his music video that. for a song called Next Song Remix, dropping in early 2019. The music video begins with Vert saying that they are posted up on the 79th, meaning Drill City's hood, before once again dropping Y's and throwing the 6 or B hand sign. Right. Hey, you know how to fuck you know, 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 he then begins his verse no, by saying how he's posted, posted on the nine, nine. sometimes on the six, meaning that he hangs out in both Drill City's hood and Trap City or Chris World's hood. While it appears that Vert was mostly repping Drill City, he would also be very close with Trap City members, as can be seen from his 21st birthday vlog in 2022, where he hangs out in Trap City's hood, with this video being eerily posted exactly two years before Jeff's death in that very same hood. More specifically, Vert is hanging in the video near 67th and Evans while Jeff would be killed near 67th and Rhodes, mm. only about a 0.3 mile walk away. Vert would also explain in his early 2022 interview with Truth Teller TV that he was both Drill City and Trap City. Uh, I'm from 67 Trap City and uh, 79 Drill City. My name is Lurie Overt, man. Meanwhile, during the late 2010s, another main <laughs> rapper from the new generation of Bloodhounds, who is also a cousin of Jeff and Z-Money, Q50, was still attending high school, eventually graduating in 2022. Jeff, on the other hand, was still largely absent from any social media activity concerning mm. Drill City or Bloodhounds coming into the 2020s, right. with one of his first appearances seemingly being in a late 2021 music video by Z-Money titled Gone M.I.A., where a 19-year-old Jeff can be seen chilling in the background while his cousin raps, while his other appearance will be soon after in a music video for his brother 
J Boogie and JB Bin Laden's track titled N Words Green, where Jeff can be seen next to his big bro smoking big blunts and right, right, right. a gun with a drum magazine, showing that at this point he was already likely deep in outside, the streets together yeah. with his brother. Coming into the 2020s, it. it seems that the beefs of the 06679, aka the Chris World, Trap City and Drill City Alliance, which now included also the Bloodhound Click, were now increasingly beginning to revolve around their oldest enemies, the GD majority sets of the former Lon City, a Trey Mob, Evans Mob and Hit Squad, which is likely why they were increasingly dropping rakes for the GDs in their music videos instead of the Ys for TYMB mm -hmm. like they had primarily done throughout the 2010s. That would have been back when the beef with TYMB was particularly hot. But still, Vert would aim his disses in his September 2020 song No Dissin' squarely at TYMB and 8 Trey Mob, saying both Die Y for TYMB and F83 for 8 Trey Mob. However, in his November 2021 remix of Lil Durk's track Piss Me Off, he would rap how it's F the Ops and Young Money, perhaps showing that the beef with TYMB was a much more passive beef now, while the beef with 8 Trey Mob, Evans Mob and Hit Squad was much more active at this time, some months before the release of that song it's on the so, 1st this of March. so wicked to me because like I ain't, I ain't been in a city at all for so long, like I don't know nothing what they talking about, like nothing. I don't know about nothing, you, you know? Like, I've been out of the city since 2020, so I don't 2021, know. 2021, a very nothing. respected 8 Trey Mob member called Clay, real name Darian Cherry, was sitting in his car in the 8 Trey Mob's hood on the 86th Street when another car pulled up next to him and somebody began firing shots from the inside. Clay received a gunshot to the mouth and was transported to the University of Chicago Medical Center in critical condition. Listen, I have a mentorship called the Moolah Membership where I'm going to teach you how to get rich with business, YouTube, crypto, stocks, financial literacy credit every single way. Now, I became a millionaire by the time I was 23 years old. I'm going to teach you step by step for only $50. Click the first link in the description right now and get added to my group chat where I'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one help to make sure you get rich in 2024. Click it right now. Stop tweaking because we got very, very, very limited spots and I don't want you to miss this bag. Clay would survive the shooting for the time being, but would mm. remain in hospital fighting for his life. One member from the 8 Trey mob who would comment on Clay's situation particularly often was a guy called Lil Crew, real name Nyreek Curtis, who was seemingly a very close friend of Clay. Crew was also an aspiring rapper who had been releasing Lil music Crew. since at least 2017. Crew would comment on Facebook the very next day how he wasn't going to say too much, perhaps insinuating that he was going to respond by actions and not with words. However, his later post would also make it clear that Clay's situation was weighing heavily on his mind. Yeah. Crew would also write about a week after Clay had been shot how they were testing their guns on stop signs because the ops weren't outside. And later, he would comment on how the ops had been on their high horse after Clay had been shot, even though they knew Clay had been sliding on them often. Unfortunately, Clay would eventually succumb uh, to his injuries and pass away in yeah. May 2021. Passed and to honor his memory, a Trey mob would begin to call their block the Clayway. Clay's murder has never been solved, but the rumors online have placed the blame on a few different people. One of these, perhaps somewhat surprisingly, being Lil Jeff himself. Mm, Some God people claim that this information comes from a reliable source, while others would claim that Clay had in fact been killed by Vert. However, to be absolutely Bert? clear, there's seemingly no real evidence to tie either of them to this murder, although they would certainly take part in dissing Clay on social media. And right. in music, such as on Vert's song, Knock If You Buck, that was released on October 2022, where Vert raps how 8 Trey Mob thought that Clay's name was ringing in the streets, but now he's irrelevant, as well as dissing another 8 Trey Mob member for allegedly getting shot and injured. Unfortunately, mm. Vert and Drill City were soon about to experience a major loss of their own. During his teenage years, Vert had seemingly been particularly close with a guy from Drill City called Ruger, real name Jermaine Darden. Unfortunately, Ruger would be gunned Ruger down in Drill City's yeah. hood in March 2021, whilst two others were wounded. This would be another devastating oh, loss for the people man. close to him. Q52 would pay his respects to Ruger right after his death, showing right. that while he might have been absent at this point from the music videos of guys like Vert, he was very much involved in the street side of things. Right. Like Clay before him, the killing of Ruger would also become yet another unsolved murder in Chicago. Uh -huh. However, there has certainly know who been did some that interesting posts though. that have come out after his death, one of these being a post from one of the cousins of Clay, who would say well, how today, he risked his life to get back for Clay. And then, less than a month after Ruger's death on the 13th of April 2021, at around 7pm, Lil Crew would be outside of the very same 300 block of 86th Street, oh, where man. Clay had been shot at the beginning of March. Right. And someone would open fire at him, striking him in the chest. Damn. Crew would then be taken to the University, University of Chicago, Chicago Medical Center, just like Clay had been. But this time, the injuries were immediately too critical, and Crew yeah. would be pronounced dead Damn. soon after arrival. Yet again, the murder of Crew would go unsolved but in online another spaces, unsolved body reddit boy chicago Jeff got some unsolved bodies boy i think we might be the king of the home of that shit boy 
Oh so my god. We've been rumored to possess an almost otherworldly ability to see the victims of their demigod and his disciples in their crystal balls have once again pinned this murder on Vert. Some would even claim that Vert himself had gotten shot in the leg before Cruz's murder, which he references in an unreleased song. This possibly even being the same shooting where Ruger would die and two others would be injured, one of these two then possibly being Vert. Vert would also mention Crew in the song Knock If You Buck, as well as the rapper Don Darius from A-Tray, who was one of the early rappers for the set before he was killed in 2015. 13, saying that he can't go out like Don D and the A Tray haven't got a get back for Crew and Clay, with at least the implication being that the 06679 were indeed know. behind the murders right. of both Crew and Clay. But behind, perhaps the most she? telling lyrics from Vert are in a lesser known song from early 2022 titled Live or Die by the Chris World rapper Chief Two Times, now going by the name Big Boss Two Times, featuring Tero and RB Tasky from Trap City, as well as Vert, who raps in his verse we how it's them cars, tray, see the before specifically mentioning hit. both Crew and Clay. He tried to play crazy with the train. Yeah. That's another stick. You know, eight tray crew and Clay, I got the brothers lit. Oh my. God. These young Trey, niggas got switches and glickles and flippers. And Clay saying how he got them both lit. Yet others have claimed that Crew was in fact killed by somebody from the Woodlawn set 800, who are known for uh, beefing with numerous sets, including both the Bloodhounds and about. the A-Tray mob. However, what is once again clear is that following the murder of Crew, Vert would use many of his songs to send messages that they had in fact gotten get back for Ruger. Firstly, in the beginning of June 2021, Vert would drop a music video for his song titled Play By The Rules, where the video begins with a tribute clip of Ruger dancing to Lil Durk's song No Auto Dirk, where Dirk raps the famous line, new op pack in the air, this gas or what? Then, a few months later, at the end of August 2021, Vert would drop a music video for his song Drill Life, where he raps how he has to kill 10 of his ops for them to feel what he felt, with this likely being another reference to Ruger. This was followed in November with a much more direct claim in Vert's Pissed Me Off remix, with Vert rapping how they got get back for Ruger and how they lost one, but their ops lost four. Oh! Then, once again, at the end of December 2021, Vert would drop a music video Not again. for Gang together with JB and a rapper called Lil Cap, where they can be seen with a cutout of Ruger, while Vert begins the song by rapping how they cried for Ruger, but, Ruger, but we cry, but we still him. slide. This shit ain't even even in my nigga Savage is shooters. They say the game be cheating. Oh my God. The score is not even, with him implying that they're doing so much damage that their ops are claiming the that the 06679 is, is cheating. Okay, the dissing would continue in 2022, when Vert would release the music video for his song titled simply Drill, where Vert first repeats a bar of how someone was dissing on his on rap, raps, now he but can't now they can't speak, speak he was with this being on a possible rap, reference to crew, speak. before then continuing to pay tribute to Ruger, saying that he's pulling up on his ops block and making them run. And the references to Ruger would just keep coming, with Vert then releasing a music video for his song 21 in June 2022, with this being the music video that they had been filming in Trap City's hood during the celebration for Vert's 21st birthday. All in right. the song, Vert once again mentions how he cried after Ruger's death, but they had then wiped his tears and gone to sliding, and saying how it's been back-to-back -back homicides ever since. At this point, it was clear that no matter who had been behind these murders, the war around the east side was getting very heated, and unfortunately, the war wouldn't only continue between the established alliances, such as a Trey, Evans, and Hit Squad versus the Drill City, Trap City, Chris World, and the Bloodhounds, but it would eventually morph into a deadly civil war within the 06679 alliance and i ain't gonna lie bro you know how many more gangs is within this bro every one of these blocks is another set gang you see how small one two three four five six seven seven blocks this way two blocks this way like this ain't no huge ass a lot of this shit ain't stony island part that's stony spot somewhere in this vicinity you got what that is south shore that's a whole nother set that ain't too far like this is a it look big, but it's really not too far from each other. Everything right here on this page right here is really not too far. So, it's a lot of wars going on, boy. I'm telling y'all, Chicago bigger than Oak Block and goddamn 63rd. It's bigger than the Bloodhounds and Trap City now. It's bigger than a lot of that, boy. Like, this just... And this, like, towards my side of town. Like, I'll probably live, live farther a little over here this way. No, wait. Yeah, a little over here this way. Yeah.